it's Rachel with Sam, and today he and I are going to go over shake. Shake is a fun trick, and um, like also what I went over with in the uh, video for Mary is that it can be really useful for him meeting new people. So Sam is a jumper, he just loves people, he gets super excited, and he can't contain himself. And so by teaching him to sit and shake when uh, a new person shows up, that can be an effective way to keep uh, to prevent him from jumping, in addition to teaching him the off command. If he's sitting down and only has three feet on the ground, he can't really jump as well. So, we're going to um, start out, now remember, with uh, using the treats, which says he's a treat motivated dog, it makes it really easy. You do a crisscross with your arms. So, if I want to shake his right paw, I am facing him, I have the treat in my right hand, or in my left hand, excuse me, and I have it crossed over my left like this. So I take the treat and I bake him over that way so that his head goes over that way and his body weight comes off of his foot. Then I use this hand to tap, tap, tap behind his foot while saying shake and that should encourage him to lift it up. Once I get it in my hand, I shake it, I tell him good shake, and that's when I let go of the treat and actually let him eat it. So, yes, excuse you. Okay, so he's sitting kind of crooked right now. I want him to be sitting nice and straight um, so that he has weight evenly on both of his front feet. Um, because if I try to pick one up, it could get him off balance. Okay. Okay, he straightened himself up pretty well that time. All right, so I'm going to go for this right foot. It's a little bit more forward, so that tells me it has the least amount of weight on it. So, treat in my right hand, going across like this. Shake, shake. Good shake, Sam. Good shake. Good boy. Okay, so he's a real natural for this. He's not lifting his foot up and offering it forth to me yet but his weight comes off of it just like he's supposed to. So with the tapping on my finger, it kind of brings that foot up off the ground. So we're just gonna keep on practicing it like this um, and hopefully work towards him offering his foot up on his own when I ask him to shake. Yep, shake, shake, good shake. Good shake, Sam, good boy, good boy. Okay, one thing that I see with him is he kind of tries to turn his body. Oh, our camera fell a little bit, so we're out of the picture. Sorry about this. Okay. You want me to move this back for us to work on? There we go. Okay. So, starting that again. Oh, sit. Good, sit. So as I was saying, um, instead of just turning his head, Sam seems to kind of like move his whole body with the shape and um, when he follows the tree. And so that kind of brings his foot up automatically because he's picking it up to move. Uh, but just be aware of that. Um, I think that right now that's him just turning his whole body instead of actually picking his foot up for the shape as of right now. Um, all right, we're gonna keep on going for the right paw. Sam, shake. Good shake. Good boy. Good shake. Okay. Now let's try the left paw. So I'm gonna my other hand, and we're going the other way. Sam, shake. Good shake. Good shake. All right, that was the best form for Sam yet. So um, what I did there, you keep the treat high and kind of push it back, you know, like a 45 degree angle across your chest. That way it's uh, just his head. I think I was going a little too far down, so he was twisting his body more. Right here. Shake. Good shake. Good shake, Sam. Okay, yeah, that foot is really, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Sit. Sam, yeah, sit. Sit. Good sit. Uh, that foot is really easy to come up. Um, now I'm going to focus really on just tap, tap, tapping with one finger behind his foot so that he um, picks it up himself and hopefully I can catch it. 
Uh, that way he's doing the action and it's not me picking up his foot. His hand. Shake. 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 Good shake. Good shake, Sam. Good boy. Good boy. That was good. That came up on his own and you're just aiding um, you and him in picking up that foot by pushing the tree um, back and to the side so that it changes his body and his weight distribution. I'm going to put my knee on the leash so that my hand is a little more free. Stand. No, this way. Stand. Shake. Shake. Come on, shake. Good shake, Sam. Good shake. Good boy. Good boy. Now come here. He's getting a little turned around. Good boy. Alright, so with the way his feet are now, he has the least amount of weight on his left foot. So yeah, shake. Shake. Good shake! Good shake, Sam. Good boy. His foot came up all, um, all on its own that time. So that's really what we want to go for. Ideally, of course, we do want to get to the point um, down here on this level of him picking up his foot and offering it forth on his own. And then we want to, uh, even after he's doing that, we want to do this in the same method from a stand and leaning over. Um, like I've mentioned before, dogs really learn routines. And um, even though he'll um, get to the point where he knows how to shake and he'll do it like this, if I'm standing like this and asking him to shake, he might not know how it is if he's so used to me kneeling in front of him like that. So um, that's why we like to do kind of <laughs> the same routine like this, standing up, and um, kind of take baby steps that way. So eventually we could just have a stranger come up and say shake just like this instead of having to be right down on his level and doing the whole song and dance with the cross hand and the tree. But that is a in the future, down the road, for right now, Sam has just, you know, started learning this like five minutes ago. He's doing a great job. So, Sam. Good boy. Good boy. Shake. 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 Good shake. Good shake, Sam. Good job. Good job. Oh, no, no, no. Don't make me.
And remember, he's licking the treat, but you don't actually let it go and let him eat it until you have his paw in your hand and you're doing the shake. And always say good shake while you're shaking so he helps associate the action and the movement with the command. This was Rachel and Sam, and we are working on shake.